right, guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword in the last part. We got most of the way through Lanai Room and Ining Facility. Finally getting pretty much to the end. In this part, we're going to be facing the boss. Finally, the door's right over there. And all we gotta do is dodge these things. And, oh, I think I put myself in a bad place. Okay, maybe we didn't. We actually gotta wait for this thing to get over here, or we can just press this lever. Because in order to get to this bo boss, we have to have this card over here. And now we can- Shut up, V! This is the third temple! I know how to do this! You idiot! Shut up! Really? I had no idea. It's not like I've seen three of these. There couldn't be anything lying behind this. And yeah, if you actually tilt it like this, it looks like it fits, but it doesn't. And I swear there's one way where you can make it look like a swastika, and it's really weird. Alright, well, I think this is the way it pulled. No, it's not. Okay. Well then, maybe this isn't as easy as I remember it being. Oh, hey, that looks like it fits. No, it doesn't? Okay. I can figure this out. I'm a genius. I can do this. Oh, hey, that looks like it fits. Right? No? What way fits? Oh, this way? No? This way? This way fits. Right? That looks pretty damn good, thank you. Thank you for going in. Thank god it fits in the hole. And get ready for... Disintegration! Alright, let's go fight the boss of this friggin' dungeon and get the hell out of here. Thousand Year of Actium, Moladark. So does that mean it's from the same time as the Thousand Year Door? Alright, well this guy's pretty easy. All you gotta do is keep attacking one of his claws, pretty much, and then you can take out the other one afterwards. I suggest taking out the big claw first, but I'm stupid and targeting the small claw, so whatever. Not really a hard boss battle. In fact, one of the easier ones in the game. But I know some people who think this one's really hard. It's more annoying than anything because of the fact that his claws have so much freaking health, and you can actually screw yourself over when uh, he enters his second phase. Because one of his one of his attacks can actually just screw you over. But he's fairly easy. He's catching music. I'll give him that. It's really dramatic. All I gotta remember to do is backflip here. I don't even think I'll take damage because it's fairly easy. As long as I don't do the stupid move, I almost killed me the first time I did this. Which is get too close to him when he's in his second phase. It's gotta be painful to completely lose your hand. Because of a guy from the sky. And what he'll do here in his second phase is he'll burrow underground and then that's where the Gus Bellows comes in. And that's where you use this item. And then you move out the way here. And, uh, yeah, you stab him when it turns red. Ooh, but occasionally the stab won't work too well. Only thing that I suggest for the second phase, because it's the only thing that screws me over, is, uh, you're standing directly next to him when you, uh, uncover him enough, and he will, he will hit you and it will not be fun. I mean, oh, wow, he actually got me there. Congratulations on that, Boldark. Two damage. Uh, where is he? Right there. Oh, oh god, that would've been bad to cover him right there, because he would've got me. Just get him one more time. Come on, there we go. Oh, that was close. He should be dead here after one more hit, but I could be wrong. Oh, there we go. Let's just stab him, and there we go. End of the boss battle.
It's all pretty. Can I just pick it up? Yeah, we took care of him awfully fast there. Oh god, the world's sinking. It's like Star Lord all over again. I don't understand how Beaver's not moving when it's going in a circular motion. Or how that sand just randomly faded away. But whatever. Seriously, that cutscene reminds me of Star Lord. From Twilight Princess. Which I also will be. But you got a hot container! Your life energy has been increased by one and fully replenished! Alright, perfect. And this also, just gotta say, this reminds me of the uh, train station from Spirit Tracks, which I'd never finished that game, but a lot of things remind me of Spirit Tracks in this past area on the Nairu and whatnot. Which just makes me think that Spirit Tracks takes place before this, but that's controversial, and I probably sound like a dumbass, because I haven't finished Spirit Tracks yet. Alright, well, we get this empty hallway, which looks pretty cool. And we just gotta hit this time shift stone to make everything come back to life once more. But of course they put it so goddamn far away. And the beetle flies so slow. Any day now. Do 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 there we go. So pretty. Oh god. Everything's blue. First time I saw this cutscene, I thought we were underwater. Oh wait, actually, now that I think about it, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I really don't want to spoil anything. Now this blue makes sense to me, but we'll find that out in two temples. Or a temple and a half. Whatever. We spinning in the minecart is so much fun. This place seems to have a lot of brick places for a mining facility. There's not a lot of areas that they're digging into. Done it, Beaver. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was soft. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating you'll deafen yourself with the trill of your own scream. That sounds wonderful. Only person I read for was the fruity guy. Stop questioning my sexuality. And suddenly it's day again. Whatever. Random bird statues? Hmm. Whatever. 
And so that was odd. They went through some gate. It was like made out of a gear. I don't know. We'll find out more about it when we talk to that woman in the sealed grounds. She can no longer detect Zelda's aura. Hmm, seems odd. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dazzling ability. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the Sealed Temple. Really, I had no idea. Well, what's really odd here is that there's random rupees on these pedestals. I've always found that weird. But whatever. And let's actually just save this thing right here so we, uh... We don't have to do it later. There we go. And this is actually the Temple of Time, which makes no sense to me. But whatever. And he's all shocked. He's like, some guy just randomly burst through here and now I can get in. <laughs> Whatever, we're not going to talk to him. Ooh, what's that over there? That looks awfully suspicious. I've never noticed this before. What's over here? Uh, Amber Relic. Whatever. Not to you. I, I think I hear a cicada over here, too. Is that a cicada? What the hell is that thing? Oh, that's a, that's a wall. I swear I hear a cicada. I don't remember being a cicada in this game. Whatever, let's just fly. Back to the sky we go. Because we have to head off to the Sealed Temple. Although I think we're going to head back to Skyloft once more. Just really quick, there's probably some things we can do there. I haven't been doing a lot of side quests in this LP. Mostly just straightforward, let's get on with the... Uh, let's get on with the plot stuff. But whatever, we'll take care of most of the side quests in this game. We'll get some important stuff. It'll be fine. I'll do some screwing around eventually. I've just been focusing on uh, TTYD a lot, so... Because I promise I'd finish that by a certain date. So, whatever. Let's just head over to the bazaar first, and then Beetle will probably have some cool stuff for us, too, so... First things first, let's take care of this. How many heart pieces do we have, I wonder? Because I think we can get one of those with, uh, one of the goddess cubes we got down in Lanairu. Uh, let's see. Can I check on my things through here? Oh, that's right, you turn the page by that. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Where does it have the heart pieces? Oh, it's right there. We have no heart pieces. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, I can deal with that. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and talk to Mr. Gondo here. See if we can upgrade some of our stuff. Perfect. Actually, never mind really quick. There's something I want to do first. Why did I even come talk to you? Well, I made a mistake. Jesus Christ, you don't have to be such a dick about it. God. Well, I believe we can actually... No, we can't. You should have a new shield! Why don't you have a new shield? Dick face. Well then, upgrade my shit, bro. Not my shield, though. I don't need my shield upgraded. What can he repair? Let's get the net upgraded for- No! I need an evil crystal. I know where to get that, though. It's best to get that after the next temple. Dusk Relic! Ah, oh, can't get that until the next temple! Hornet Larva? Don't have enough? No. no, I can't upgrade anything. Well, that sucks. Well then, I didn't change my mind. You just don't have anything that I can upgrade. God damn it, Gondo. Shouldn't he have another shield? I swear he should have another shield. <sighs> Whatever. Nothing to do here. I guess we can just head to Beetle Shop then. Okay, where's Beetle Shop? Right over there. Let's just go ahead and grab this slingshot and hit his bell. Nope. Get it? Get it? Come on. There we go. And now he should blow it right over there. So let's go ahead and get on Beetle Shop once more. Grab onto it, you idiot. God. Silly beaver, stop being so stupid. I still want to know how this ship is possible. It doesn't seem possible. Well, he should have some good things for us to pick up. Uh, namely, another wall. Ooh, he doesn't have any more wallets, so I guess we've upgraded our wallet to the fullest we can go for it right now. And this is another adventure pouch. Should we pick this up? I don't really know. 600 rupees? Uh, yeah, it seems like it's good enough. And now we can fit one more thing inside. Which is cool. I figure you can actually buy one more, but it's like a thousand rupees. So, whatever. That's good. Now we have a pretty big adventure pouch, and when we pick up some items, we can do some stuff with it. 
Uh, and you know, I'll just end the episode here, and the next part we'll take care of some stuff in the sky before heading over to the sealed grounds and advancing the plot. So, thank you guys for watching, and in the next part we'll do all that stuff that I just mentioned. Goodbye.